Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. You've probably noticed that around here we love our acronyms and abbreviations. You may be familiar with our shovel, the semi-horned oblong versatile eating ladle. Of course, there's our LiDAR units, our OLEDs. Well, this week we're combining two of our favorite acronyms to create an amazing new product. What do you get when you combine IoT and ULP? No, it isn't IOTULP, although maybe it should be IOTULP. Anyway, we've teamed up with ARM, another one of our favorite acronyms, and Dialog to combine the Internet of Things and Ultra Low Power. And from that glorious marriage comes this, the new SparkFun Quick Wi-Fi Shield DA16200. And while we have had a Wi-Fi Shield in the past, this shield brings things to an entirely new level. Let's take a look and see what it has to offer. This Wi-Fi Shield is built around the DA16200 module, a fully integrated Wi-Fi module running an ARM Cortex M4F core with clock frequency of 30 to 160 megahertz, a 40 megahertz crystal oscillator, 32.768 kilohertz RTC clock, RF lumped RF filter, four megabytes flash memory, and an onboard chip antenna. The Wi-Fi processor allows for IEEE 802.11 BGN, one by one 20 megahertz channel bandwidth, 2.4 gigahertz, IEEE 802.11 S Wi-Fi mesh, and for Wi-Fi security, it offers WPA, WPA2 Enterprise and Personal, WPA2 SI, WPA3 SAE, and OWE. The board also has two UARTs, three ultra-low power sleep modes, operating voltage between 2.1 and 3.6 volts DC, and a quick connector for making adding I2C sensors and displays fast and easy. Now I know for me, this shield is going to be a boon. I know if you're like me, many of you have lots of old boards sitting around. I literally have a drawer that says Arduino boards, and I've got old Arduino Unos, old red boards from before we added the quick connector, several third-party boards. Since I've been migrating more towards wireless and IoT projects, those boards are seeing less and less playing time. But being able to add Wi-Fi connectivity to them, I feel I can get them out of the drawer and into my IoT universe at home where they belong. Being able to control old projects wirelessly or use all of those old boards, I really feel like this is a small investment for a huge return. Really, honestly, I probably have enough old boards to be able to add the blinds in every window of my home to my IoT setup. I'm gonna have no problem creating the home of tomorrow today. Really though, it is now safe, simple, and secure to add Wi-Fi connectivity to any of your Arduino R3 footprint boards. So dust off all those old boards longing for Wi-Fi connectivity and pick up a few SparkFun quick Wi-Fi shields. Grab them over at sparkfun.com and of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. I feel like, like this is one of those videos where I should start talking. Hi there, SparkFun, it's Rob Reynolds here. And at some point this should go now, I know that for me, this board is going to be a boon, shield. Let's call it a shield. Now, I know for me, okay, give it a pause. Uh, lately, I've been work, <laughs> wasn't really what I had written kind of at all, but it was headed in the right direction.